Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Looking outside right now, there is a lot to talk about across the state of Montana. A lot of watches and warnings right now. Most importantly, a blizzard warning in effect till 11 a.m. this morning, right along the northern Rocky Mountain front. And there are some road closures. Highway 2, all the way from East Glacier to Cut Bank is closed due to low visibility and Highway 89 from Browning all the way south to the intersection with Highway 44 is closed as well. Some seriously low visibility across the roads out there and here the places in purple are under a winter weather advisory until 11 a.m. Not as severe as up in the northern part of the state with the blizzard warning but still some low visibilities across roads out there so definitely take care if you are headed out that way this morning and a wind chill advisory out in eastern Montana for wind chills as low as 40 degrees below zero. That is until 9 a.m. And that wind chill advisory is across a lot of the United States right now. A big Arctic air mass has moved down into the continental U.S. and is affecting a lot of places that typically don't get this cold. But Back in the treasure state, due to that Arctic high, we are in a, an inversion right now in the Helena Valley and a couple of other places with some less than ideal air quality. Right now in Helena, unhealthy for sensitive groups and it has been for the last few hours. So this could continue to deteriorate as the week goes on. But today, temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer than they were yesterday, up in the higher 20s, still below freezing, but certainly warmer than it was yesterday. The wind chills are not as bad as they were yesterday either. And down in the near the capital, some inverted temperatures in the valleys, making it a little bit colder down in the valleys than they are in the higher elevations and across the plains where there's some Chinooking going on. Tonight, lows will not be nearly as bad as they were last night and the night before. In the single digits and up into the teens in some places, 10 in the capital city here and one below zero in Great Falls. Still quite chilly, but not as cold as it has been for the last few days. This is a look ahead a few days. The snow is going to stay out of the area for the week, but Saturday night another storm moves in. We will see some snow into Sunday and potentially into Monday, but we will keep an eye on that for you. Looking at the next seven days today in Great Falls temperatures a lot more comfortable than they have been the last few days. 32 for the high today and temperatures in the 40s this week until Saturday that snow moves in. We will see things kind of cool off as that snow comes down. But in the Helena Valley, temperatures a lot colder due to that inverted air. So we're going to see some chillier temperatures until this weekend. And at least for now, a little bit of a break from the snowfall. Yes. That caused so many problems over the weekend. Yes, think positive. Yeah, exactly. 